A Navy or Naval Force is the branch of a nation's armed forces principally designated for naval and amphibious warfare, like littoral or ocean-borne combat operations and related functions. A large modern navy includes aircraft carriers, cruisers, destroyers, frigates, submarines, and various types of support, supply, and repair ships, as well as naval bases and ports around the world. Currently China has numerically the largest navy in the world, but the United States Navy has its recognition as the strongest and most powerful navy in the world. Naval ships are the chief means by which a nation extends sea power, and after reading the title of this video, you must have understood that today I am going to talk about different types of naval ships. So all you need to know is following. Let's begin with your and my favorite type, the aircraft carriers. The aircraft carriers have become synonymous with US military might. A carrier is a naval vessel from which airplanes take off and land. But it wouldn't be wrong if I say that these warships are basically floating airbases, loaded with dozens of warplanes, and can launch 150 sorties per day. A carrier has about 80 aircrafts on board, a powerful force when deployed. There are a total of 41 active aircraft carriers in operation by 13 navies across the globe. The US Navy has the most number of 11 aircraft carriers in service, all are nuclear-powered and carry the most planes, and operate more efficiently than any other carriers in the world. As a result of the use of nuclear power, the ships are capable of operating continuously for over 20 years without refueling. Besides the US, only one other nation has ever built a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, France. Right now, the largest aircraft carrier in the world is USS Gerald R. Ford CVN-78, while the smallest carrier is HTMS Chakri Narubat CVH-911. Let's talk about our second most favorite type, the submarines. There are different types of naval submarines, for example ballistic missile subs, cruise missile subs, nuclear-powered attack subs, diesel-electric submarines etc. Submarines are stealthy navy assets that is capable of propelling itself beneath the water, as well as on water's surface. This is a unique capability among warships. Submarines are quite different in design and appearance from surface ships. Nowadays North Korea boasts the world's largest fleet of submarines, while the world's largest submarines are the Russian 941 Acula class, designated Typhoon by NATO. The US owns the second, but most powerful fleet of submarines. All of the America's 68 operational submarines are nuclear-powered, and 14 of them are ballistic missile submarines of Ohio class. Each SSBN is armed with up to 24 Trident II submarine-launched ballistic missile. Generally speaking, each Ohio-class sub carry 87 megatons of destruction, more than most powerful nuclear weapon ever went off. A nuclear-powered submarine can remain underwater for six months, basically, the only limit on a nuclear-powered submarine is food supplies. The first nuclear-powered submarine was USS Nautilus SSN-571, launched on January 21, 1954. Our third type is destroyers. Like agile, fast and highly maneuverable fighter jets provide escort to large bombers during missions and protect them against enemy fighters, in the very same way, a destroyer is a fast, maneuverable, long-endurance warship intended to escort larger vessels in a fleet, convoy or battle group, and defend them against powerful short-range attackers. A destroyer is also able to provide land attack capability as well as air and submarine defense capabilities. The United States Navy boasts the world's largest fleet of destroyers with total of 69 Arleigh Burke class destroyers in service. When it comes to armament, the Arleigh Burke destroyers feature the Harpoon anti-ship missiles and the new Tomahawk Block 5. To defend the fleet against hostile missiles and aircraft, the vessels launch the RIM-7 Sparrow or RIM-162 ESSM missiles. For this purpose, the standard missile SM-2 and SM-6 can also be used. If the mission requires defense against ballistic missiles, standard missile 3 and 6 are the available options. In the anti-submarine warfare part, the ship has systems, sonars, and rockets very dangerous for enemy submarines. It can also carry the light airborne multi-purpose system helicopter to be even more effective in tracking and attacking submarines and underwater mines. Last but not least, the 20mm Phalanx Sea Whiz and 25mm M242 Bushmaster chain gun are also options for some of the vessels. The new class of destroyers is Zumwalt class with stealth capabilities, having a radar cross-section similar to a fishing boat despite her large size and would carry hypersonic weapons. Let's talk about fourth type now, the guided missile cruisers, a cruiser is a type of warship. 
Modern cruisers are generally the largest ships in a fleet after aircraft carriers and amphibious assault ships and can usually perform several roles. These large surface warships built for high speed and great cruising radius, capable of not only defending its own fleet and coastlines, but also threatening those of the enemy. As of 2020 only two countries operate vessels formally classed as cruisers, the United States and Russia, and in both cases the vessels are primarily armed with guided missiles. The US Navy has 21 Ticonderoga-class cruisers active in its fleet, which is most in the world, that carry tomahawks, harpoons, and other missiles. These vessels are designed to provide defense against enemy aircraft. The onboard missiles are designed to provide defense against enemy aircraft and missiles, while Russia currently has seven Kirov-class battlecruisers. The fifth type is a new breed of warships, the Littoral Combat Ship or LCS is a set of two classes of relatively small surface vessels designed for operations near shore by the United States Navy. It was envisioned to be a networked, agile, stealthy surface combatant capable of defeating anti-access and asymmetric threats in the littorals. Littoral combat ships are comparable to the corvettes found in other navies. Being a navy ship, the LCS comes with a standard helicopter deck and hangar. The deck has the capability to launch and recover an MH-60RS helicopter as well as an unmanned air vehicle. This ship can also facilitate the launch and landing of aircraft in different sea conditions. Even the worst sea state 5 conditions. The LCS comes with BAE Systems Land and Armaments MK-110 57mm naval gun system. These guns can fire MK-295 ammunition at a rate of 220 rounds in a minute with a maximum range of 9 miles. Other key features of the LCS include RIM-116 rolling airframe missile, SIRAM missiles, a counter-boat missile system, an anti-submarine module, among many more state-of-the-art defense and detection systems. Currently, a total of 35 LCS have been awarded to date, 23 ships have been commissioned, 3 are pre-delivery, 5 additional LCS are under various stages of construction and 4 are in the pre-construction phase. Sixth type of naval ships are frigates, in the 17th century, the term was used for any warship built for speed and maneuverability. These could be warships carrying their principal battery of carriage-mounted guns on a single deck or on two decks. In modern navies, frigates are used to protect other warships and merchant marine ships, especially as anti-submarine warfare combatants for amphibious expeditionary forces, underwear replenishment groups, and merchant convoys. Ship classes dubbed frigates have also more closely resembled corvettes, destroyers, cruisers and even battleships. Frigates carry a 76mm gun, phalanx close-in weapons, and torpedoes. These are also used for counter-drug operations. China has the most numbers of frigates in the world. Let's now talk about our seventh and one of my most favorite type of naval ships, the amphibious assault ships. These ships provide the means for putting marines onshore using helicopters and landing craft. Their primary purpose is facilitating marine transport via helicopters, so they have a large landing deck. The amphibious assault ships carry marines, their equipment, and armored vehicles. The design evolved from aircraft carriers converted for use as helicopter carriers. Modern ships support amphibious landing craft, with most designs including a well deck. Some amphibious assault ships also support V and stole fixed-wing aircraft, now having a secondary role as aircraft carriers. Amphibious assault ships are operated by the Royal Australian Navy, the Brazilian Navy, the Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy, the Egyptian Navy, the French Navy, the Italian Navy, the Republic of Korea Navy and the Spanish Navy, but of course the largest fleet is operated by world superpower, the United States of America. The role of the amphibious assault ship is fundamentally different to standard aircraft carrier. Its aviation facilities have the primary role of hosting helicopters to support forces ashore, rather than to support strike aircraft. However, some are capable of serving in the sea control role, embarking aircraft like Harrier or the new F-35B variant of the Lightning II fighters for combat air patrol and helicopters for anti-submarine warfare, or operating as a safe base for large numbers of STOVL fighters conducting air support for an expeditionary unit ashore. Most of these ships can also carry or support landing craft, such as air cushion landing craft or hovercraft or LCUs. The term amphibious assault ship is often used interchangeably with other ship classifications. It applies to all large deck amphibious ships such as the Landing Platform Helicopter, LPH, Landing Helicopter Assault, LHA, and Landing Helicopter Dock, LHD.
Eight type of Navy ships is amphibious transport dock ships also called a landing platform dock, LPD. These are the warships that embark, transport, and land elements of a landing force for a variety of expeditionary warfare missions. Several navies currently operate this kind of ship. The ships are generally designed to transport troops into a war zone by sea, primarily using landing craft, although invariably they also have the capability to operate helicopters. Basically, U.S. Navy LPDs are used to transport and land Marines, their equipment, and supplies by embarked landing craft air cushion, LCAC, or conventional landing craft and amphibious assault vehicles, AV, augmented by helicopters or vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, MV-22. These ships support amphibious assault, special operations, or expeditionary warfare missions, and serve as secondary aviation platforms for amphibious operations. America has 11 LPDs, most in the world, with China having 7 LPDs in service. Ninth type in our list is dock landing ships, also called dock or LSD, are a variation on the amphibious transport dock ships. Some ships with well decks, such as the Soviet Ivan Rogov class, also have bow doors to enable them to deliver vehicles directly onto a beach, like a tank landing ship. Modern dock landing ships also operate helicopters. The LSD came as a result of a British requirement during the Second World War for a vessel that could carry large landing craft across the seas at speed. A ship with a well deck can transfer cargo to landing craft in rougher seas than a ship that has to use cranes or a stern ramp. The predecessor of all modern LSDs is Shinchk Meru of the Imperial Japanese Army, which could launch her infantry landing craft using an internal rail system and a stern ramp. She entered service in 1935 and saw combat in China and during the initial phase of Japanese offenses during 1942. The first LSD of the Royal Navy came from a design by Sir Roland Baker, who had designed the British landing craft tank. The design was developed and built in the US for the US Navy and the Royal Navy. The LSD could carry 36 LCM at 16 knots, 30 km per hour. In the United States Navy, two related groups of vessels classified as LSDs are in service as of 2011, the Whidbey Island and Harper's Ferry classes, mainly used to carry hovercraft, LCACs, operate helicopters, and carry Marines. The British Royal Fleet Auxiliary, RFA, operates three Bay-class landing ships, based on the Dutch Spanish Enforcer design, in support of the Royal Navy's operations, while a fourth ship of the class previously in RFA service is now operated by the Royal Australian Navy. Former US LSDs include the Ashland class, Casa Grand class, Thomaston class and Anchorage class. Congratulations, we have successfully reached the 10th type of list, and the 10th type is miscellaneous navy ships. These are the special purpose ships include command ships, coastal patrol boats, mine countermeasures ships, submarine tenders, joint high-speed vessels, sea fighters, submersibles, the sailing frigate USS Constitution, oceanographic survey ships and surveillance ships. The USS Constitution is the oldest ship in the US Navy. It is used for display and during flotillas. Let's move to Corvettes now, which is 11th type in our video. For sports car junkies, a Corvette is nothing but the Chevrolet's iconic brand sports car, Corvette. But for warship enthusiasts like us, the Corvette is a battleship ranking below a frigate in size and has been a significant component of naval forces across the world for countless decades. The dimensions of the Corvette are slightly smaller as compared to the traditional frigate combat vessel. However in its slightness lies the most important feature of the Corvette, serving as a preparatory vessel in crucial wartimes, especially as a stopgap between the larger naval combat vessels. Currently, there are a number of Corvette warships being used by countries across the world. Russia owns the largest fleet of Corvettes, while India owns the second largest fleet. The US Navy doesn't use Corvettes because the role the Corvette class is designed to fill is the US Coast Guard's job not the Navy. Twelfth type is support ships, these ships provide the necessary provisions that keep the Navy operating. There are combat stores on board with supplies, food, repair parts, mail, and other goods. This type includes so many ships, for example replenishment tanker, ammunition ships, fast combat support ships, cargo, pre-position supply ships, as well as rescue and salvage, tankers, tugboats, and hospital ships. The two Navy hospital ships are truly floating hospitals with emergency rooms, operating rooms, beds for recovering patients, nurses, doctors, and dentists. 
These ships are used during wartime and major natural disasters. The Navy employs a wide variety of ships, each with its own purpose and responsibilities. Our last and thirteenth type is small boats. Small boats are used for a variety of tasks, including river operations, special operations craft, patrol boats, rigid hull inflatable boats, survey boats, and landing craft. So, I think the video has reached to its end. The big battleships would be the part of my video, but sadly, they have become obsolete due to a number of reasons, for example manpower, it took 1,851 officers and men to operate the USS Missouri in 1984, meanwhile the USS Zumwalt currently requires 158 to fully operate everything on board including the air detachment. The battleships served their purpose and are now piece of the past. In the end, I would like to say thank you so very much for watching, and I can hope that this video was informational for you, and if you learned anything, leave a like. See you later everybody, goodbye.